join me, never too old. As I explore the waters of local lakes and quarries, as well as the waters of the Gulf of Mexico, the Atlantic, and the Caribbean Sea. Two thirds of this world is covered by water. So let's go into this adventure and meet along the way amazing creatures that have made this amazing blue world home. Hello to all here everybody, uh, I am at the Newark airport waiting to aboard my plane, that's going to take me to Tampa, this is my first uh, scuba diving trip, officially scuba diving trip, and uh, we're gonna, I'm going to be doing several dives in Tampa and West Palm Beach, my friend Jose is waiting for me over there at the airport. So it's gonna be a fun day. I'm gonna be sharing those moments with you. Don't forget to like and subscribe to Never Too Old SD. That's your boarding pass. Oh, thank you. waiting for me so I'm on my way to get my, my baggage first time arriving here into Tampa Okay, my bag is now had to take the shuttle to someplace else. Okay, my friends, I finally have arrived to one of my diving spots of the day, Genie Springs. 
and Genie Springs is located in uh, on the Santa Fe River in High Springs, Florida. My friend and dive buddy Jose Gonzalez joins me. There he is in front of me. And Genie Spring is one of the clearest springs here in Florida. Water temperature 72 degrees all year round. Max depth for this dive 51 feet. And uh, right away, I welcome a party of striped mullets. There they are. And they're not shy. Now, the funny thing about these fish is they're usually saltwater fish, but occasionally you can find them in fresh water too, like these springs. There I am, posing for the camera. And look at this, this is beautiful. It's like visibility is like 100 feet plus. So clear, it looks like, it feels like I'm in a pool, look at that. Wow, there the school of mullets. And the bottom is like a sandy bottom. It's not silty, it's just sand, which helps with the visibility. You can see all the roots of the trees. Yeah, I was practicing my frog kick a little bit. It's a small bluegill right there, hanging with the striped mullets. Beautiful. Right, right now I'm in the shadows. I'm like in eight to 10 feet of water right now. It looks so clear, it looks shallower. More of these striped mullets. They're all over the place. Now if I keep going ahead, I will eventually hit the, the Santa Fe River. But right now it's a little high and visibility is really bad over there. Now I'm approaching the, the, the cave, the mouth of the cave. There's a guy free diving into it. So that's a little bit for everybody to do here. You can go swimming, tubing, scuba dive, diving. The area where we're gonna go right now is good for all uh, recreational divers because uh, we're going to the cavern, there I am, and sunlight pretty much hits and you can see the, the exit from down below. And uh, and they also have a rope to help you find the way out. But it's always good to have good lighting, good lights. See? It's like a like sandy bottom and that's solid. It's like limestone. Blue gill there hanging around. My friend Jose up there. Some divers there doing a safety stop. Now this, uh, like I said in the beginning, this cavern reaches a depth of 50, around 52 feet. There's a rope and you can follow down and up. I'm slowly going down, finding my way to the bottom. Now, uh, there's a section that I'm looking for. Uh, when I re whenever I reach the, the bottom, there's like a gate that's gonna 
blocked the way. That means that I cannot go further. I cannot go beyond the gate because I'm not cave diving certified. It's a beautiful room. Oh, there I am. My friend's following me. He had a little trouble in the beginning equalizing, but he got under control. Water is uh, 72 degrees, like I said, all year round. And sandy bottom, so no silt. So, and there's uh, there's water coming out of there. There are like millions of gallons of water pumping out of the the from the gate that I'm about to show you in a couple of minutes. Now this, this area that I'm diving right now, they call it the, the Genie Ballroom. That's my friend Jose. Now this, uh, this ballroom that they call, it's like a, it's like a basin and it's pretty good, it's pretty large. It's like in, on, on a bowl shaped, it's a bowl shaped depression and it measures over a hundred feet across. And from the, from the ceiling to the bottom, it's like 15 feet deep. And it, it, it connects, it connects the basin to the nearby Santa Fe river. There's the gate. And right now I'm really kicking because water is like rushing up and hitting my face. Well guys, I'm going to finish this video right now. It's going to have a second part and I'm going to show you all the areas of the cave that you're going to find interesting. Until then, it has been never too old, LC. Thank you.